Rock drumming is a sometimes underestimated form of music. It's very difficult to play something simplistically and with a great feel and very, very solid. This is the foundation of playing rock music. As we talked about with our music style analysis format, we'll go right down the different parts of approaching each music style. Starting with rock drumming, the drum set mix is very, very important in playing this style of music. The kick drum has got to be the loudest instrument. The snare drum has got to be the second loudest instrument. And the hi-hat is third in line behind these two instruments. The reason for this, the kick drum and the snare drum are the foundation of not only all the rock grooves that we play, but they're the foundation of this music style in general. The whole band, the whole feel of every song is really dictated by the way the relationship is laid down between the kick and the snare drum. It's very, very important that these, these instruments are out front in everything that we do. Here's an example of a basic rock groove using this drum kit mix. Here's a variation on a rock roof. You'll notice that most of the variations stem from the kick drum, which is usually influenced by what the bass guitar player is playing. Here's variation number one. Here's rock variation number two. You're going to notice how I half open the hi-hat when I play this. This creates a different color to, to an otherwise simple groove. Again, very, very important. Solidity and simplicity in playing this style of music. If you get too busy, we're going to be traveling down another musical genre's road. Here's example number two of a rock variation. Adding the crown of the ride cymbal to a rock groove adds a whole nother color. Here's rock drumming variation number three. <laughs> 